Hi, are you familiar with the Country Magazine? It's a wonderful magazine. It has pictures of beautiful places in the country. It's for people who live in the country or long to live in the country. And it has special features like, well, the recipe section, heard down at the corner cafe, the place for jokes. Well, one day my mother read a funny story there and she shared it with me. It was hilarious. I liked it so well that I memorized it. It was called The Ugliest Man in Leslie County, Kentucky. I memorized it, told it every place I could. One day I was at Dixie Downs at Lynn's Market and I was telling my friends this story and when I got done they all agreed it was funny but one of the guys said, but he said, well, you know, he'd never been to Leslie County, Kentucky. Well, I haven't been either. And he didn't know for sure but he figured, well, there were ugly guys right here in Washington County. Maybe we ought to have a contest to find out who the ugliest man in Washington County was. Well, we all knew different guys, so how were we going to accomplish this? Well, we'd get film for my camera, and I'd go out and get pictures of them. Well, it was a hot summer afternoon, and I went out to get my first picture. And I left there and went down through the Sand Hollow Wash and up across the lava flow to Santa Clara. From Santa Clara, I went up on top of the Santa Clara bench and past the town of Ivins, down back towards the river at three mile, back up again at five mile on top of the bench to Shem City, which is on the Indian Reservation. Then I went from there over to back down on the river again, across the river to a fork in the road. The south or left-hand side of the fork goes across the mountains to the southwest through Mesquite and then to Las Vegas. The north side goes over and below the Shem Dam and up and around it and then turns and goes north towards the Gunlock Reservoir just below Gunlock. Well, right at that turn, you go straight west on a dirt road, and you pass a, on the north side, the right-hand side, you pass this horse corral with a loading chute, go across the river, up and around, and up and down, and the first flat, flat, flat place you come to on the north, hand, north side, the right-hand side of the road as you're going west, is at Jackson Flats. There's a little house underneath a big cottonwood tree. Well, that was the first schoolhouse out there. In fact, it was a telegraph office in pioneer times. That's where the guy lived. So I stopped to get his picture. Knock on the door. Somebody says, come in. I open the door. They come in and shut the door. So, well, I do. And then, what do you want, says a voice. And I look over in the corner. My eyes kind of adjust to the darkness now. And, and uh, the house is all boarded up. Hot and humid in there. Looked like somebody covered up. What do you want, the voice says. I said, well, before I answer that, I want to ask you uh, a question. How come you covered up like this in such a hot summer afternoon with no air ventilation in here? Well, he says, I'm awful tired. I haven't slept for a couple of days now. And he says, I, I, I'm so ugly. If sleep sees me, it'll run away. Hot dog, I says, you're my man for the ugliest man in Washington County contest. He says, I was ugly, all right. Might be able to win it, but I'm too tired. Can't let it see me because I'm too tired. I just can't let it, can't take the chance of it seeing me and, and not getting some sleep. Guy you really want lives out in Matakwa. Matakwa? Where in the world's Matakwa? So when you go out west of here, come to a fork of the road, north side goes to Gold Strike. Oh yeah, I've been out to Gold Strike, worked at the gold mine one time. No, you don't go there. He says you go straight down to the Beaver Dam Wash, little town there, that's Matakwa. Cow pasture with cows in it, right hand side. Two story blue house just after that, that's where your man lives. I thanked him and left. He was right all right. Down there, there was a cow pasture, cows in it, two-story blue house. But when I passed that cow pasture, I saw something I've never seen before. I've been all across the United States, though, not to Leslie County, Kentucky. I've even been to Europe, and I've never seen anything like that. Now, maybe you've traveled places I haven't have seen something like that, but I hadn't, so I stopped to find out what was going on. I saw this young woman out there in this pasture kissing a cow right smack on the mouth over and over again. Pardon me, ma'am, what you doing? Well, she says, <clears throat> been married to my old man nine, six weeks now. I said, dang ugly, I haven't kissed him yet. I'm practicing. Figured if I kiss a cow, I kiss dang well anything. Hot dog, I says, he's my man for the ugliest man in Washington County contest. I need his picture. Ugly, all right, he says. She says, uh, there was a mine accident up at Gold Strike a while back, and he went into St. George just after that to get supplies. Folks took up a collection for him, thinking he was one of the poor accident survivors. He's that ugly. But he ain't home, won't be back for two days. What am I supposed to do? I says, I ain't got gas money to bring my pickup out here again, and I got to get a picture today. Well, she says, the guy you really want lives out on the back of Flat Top Mountain. You mean that mountain out west of Vail? Yeah, that's the one, she says. She proceeded to tell me how to 
get there. So I thanked her and left. Well, I told you it was a hot summer afternoon. Those clouds were kind of boiling up around the corners of the mountain, and well, they were starting to spread across the whole sky now, and getting towards dark, and I figured I'd better be hustling. I'd better get a shortcut. So I went up through Gold Strike down to Gunlock, up across the Santa Clara River to Slaughter Creek, and the road up Slaughter Creek kind of weaves in and out and around as it goes up around the back side of that mountain. Well, eventually it gets you out there, but it took me so long. By the time I got out there, the sun had gone down. The wind had come up, the clouds had completely covered the sky, and there was thunder and lightning all over the place. Oh, well, a raindrop every 10 or 12 miles. You know how it is here in a windstorm, a rainstorm in the winter and summertime. Well, it was that kind of a night. And uh, when I shut the lights off on the pickup to go up the trail up that back side of that mountain, why, it was black as a black cat on a coal pile at midnight. But with that lightning flash in every minute, I really didn't need to have a flashlight. I could see to get up there. And it weaves up around an open pit mine, and halfway up there, there's a rock building. It looked like the roof was caved in, but I knocked on the door anyway. I hear some squeaking across the wooden floor like somebody's walking across, and then creak, the door comes open, and as it does, bam, goes the lightning, and oh my goodness, this guy's hideous. I mean, he's dang ugly, and nearly knocked me out of my boots. He's ugly. What do you want, he says in a deep voice. Well, I need your photograph. I need your picture. What do you want my picture for, he says. I says, well, after seeing uh, some folks think you might win the ugliest man in Washington County contest, and after seeing you just now, well, I tend to agree with them. I ain't ugly, he says. I'm thinking, oh, no, that's an obvious bold-faced lie. I ain't ugly, he says a little louder. I'm thinking, oh, no, you know, if you tell a lie often enough, lightning will strike you dead. And this is obviously a bold-faced lie, and we're halfway up this mountain in the middle of a lightning storm. If it strikes him... I'm a dead duck. I'm like two feet from him. I ain't ugly. He just bellows it and crack goes the lightning. And I look up and there's some lightning going around in a circle. I've seen it do that before around here a lot of times. And like it's gaining up speed and then it comes towards the porch lickety split. When it gets about 10 feet from us, it throws up its arms in abject terror as it skids to a halt and then heads back twice as fast as it came, scared to death. When I composes myself, oh, so he says, okay, now if you ain't ugly, what scared that there lightning bolt away? He says, well, just a minute goes in the house, comes out momentarily with a uh, lit lantern, and he holds it up between me and him, and he looks me over from head to foot, and I says, now, now, you tell me what scared that there lightning bolt away if you ain't ugly. He says, well, I'm too polite to say, but there's two of us on this here porch. Now ain't there. And now you know the story of the ugliest man in Washington County.